we have a sine wave and want to identify its frequency. The easiest way to do that is to use adaptive notch filter. It constantly updates its top band frequency sample by sample, resulting in a precise frequency estimate. It filters input signal X, generating output signal Y, and has parameter A, which is responsible for stop band frequency. The stop band frequency can be extracted as inverse cosine of A divided by 2. Updating rule for A is very simple. It minimizes energy of Y and forces the filter to track the frequency. The updating rate is controlled by parameter L, which is adjusted according to input signal conditions. When frequency of the sine wave is fixed, the filter converts to a stable solution. And when frequency changes, the filter starts to adjust its stop band. The energy of the output signal rapidly increases and then is gradually attenuated when approaching a new optimal solution. For a bigger frequency gap, it requires more time to converge. The accuracy of estimated frequency is very high, but this is performance in ideal conditions. In real applications, the signal is not perfectly clean, it always contains some amount of noise. Noise degrades filter's performance. Each new update pushes stop band stochastically around optimum, introducing errors. An obvious solution here is to decrease updating rate. In this case, A is updated in much smaller steps, averaging large amount of data. While the filter becomes more stable, its response to frequency change becomes much more slower, increasing convergence time.